with Savory Saul and the fam and keep on cooking. So welcome, welcome, welcome back to our kitchen. Hopefully everyone is having a wonderful, marvelous day. And this dish is the herbal non-sodium chicken soup. That's right, guys. So in this pot here, we have our onions and garlic and bay leaf um, just simmering away we have our chicken breast to start the show <laughs> it's already been washed prepped and seasoned remember guys in these videos we talk about the non-sodium um, seasonings so we have a little black pepper garlic uh, the salt free seasoning Mrs. Dash and parsley now we did go ahead and get in the salt free seasoning and some of the garlic and black pepper and Miss Dash. We're not going to add the parsley until almost the end of this dish here. So right now we're in the step of just going on to add in our chicken. All right guys so we're going to go ahead and get the chicken in and then we'll be back with the next steps to this recipe so make sure you stay tuned give the in give this video a thumbs up like comment and subscribe see you guys soon all right guys it's back with savory Saul and the fam and keep on cooking and we are back guys with our non-sodium herbal chicken stew or soup for this matter not a stew actually all right and if you guys checked out the first part of this video we still have the same exact seasons here which are all non-sodium the mustache black pepper garlic salt free seasoning and parsley now we've already added our chicken and skinless um and fat we've removed the fat and all of that good stuff washed it and you know we had already prepared that part so now we're here um, doing the vegetables guys so we have our chopped potatoes and carrots here we're also going to add some corn and because this is a herbal um, chicken soup we do have the dill fresh oregano and fresh thyme which is also going to impact and add so much flavor to your soup guys so that's why we suggest using the fresh herbs and not so much the um already dried ones um it just you know makes a huge difference when you're trying to you know avoid the salt and replace the sodium with more natural flavors i want to say all right and we still have the seasonings out because we are doing this to taste so if it, if you're using two tablespoons of garlic and you you know come to a point you've tasted it and you you know need more then you know you've already have your seasons out here so you don't have to you know continue to go back and forth so that's why we left those out all right guys so we are going to go ahead and start adding in our vegetables here and then also our herbs because we do want to get those saturated in that flavor uh, with this chicken here and then we're going to continue to cook this guys and we will be back with the final product of this non-sodium herbal chicken soup <laughs> all right guys so if you haven't already make sure you give this video a like uh, thumbs up or like comment and subscribe share um, thank you guys for even um, tuning in make sure you check out and try some of these recipes guys um, comment down below what are some um, other like seasons and you know herbs you guys use for flavoring if you're trying to move away from the sodium or you just want to kind of you know do it the natural way all right so we will see you guys very soon here with the final product and we'll share that with you guys so make sure you stay tuned. Again, it's Savory Saul and the fam. See you guys soon. All right, guys. It's back with Savory Saul and the fam. And keep on cooking. All right, guys. So we have already added our potatoes and corn. 
and all of that other stuff that we showed you <laughs> uh, the veggies before you know we uh, came back to this part of the video um, so here we have some radish fresh radish we have the red cabbage and we went back with the edicchio now we chose these because these are really healthy for you especially when you are doing the soups or the stews it's a great way to get in those veggies y'all now with that being said this is a herbal uh, uh, soup here chicken soup here so it is going to be on you know the herbs can kind of make it uh, I don't want to say bitter uh, so you may want to add some type of sweetener like maybe honey or even light brown sugar that has n absolutely no sodium okay so with that being said guys we're going to go ahead and cut this red cabbage up and the adikyo and also the um radish go ahead and get them in in our pot here um as this is coming along as you guys can see and we'll be back to show you guys the finished product uh, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Share, share, share. <laughs> tell a friend, tell another friend, tell another friend. And also check out the recipe, guys. Uh, let us know um, what are some good hearty ways that you do your non-sodiums or your low sodium. Or even just a good old soup. It doesn't have to be, um, you know, completely no sodium. Uh, but we did go this route because mom is eating and she loves this soup here. Um, so it's a great way to go if you are trying to, you know, help someone on a journey or, or whatnot. It's a really great way to go. All right, guys. So we'll see you guys soon with the final touch of this how-to for the herbal uh, chicken non-sodium soup. See you guys very soon. All right, guys. It's back with Savory Saul and the fam and keep on cooking. Alright guys, so this is the end result that you're looking for. Um, as I mentioned earlier in the video, we would be uh, taste testing as we went along. Um, because like I said, working with the herbs, they can become on the bitter side if you are stewing them. Or you're trying to you know, bring together other flavors to bring those veggies and herbs out in your stew or your soups here so with this being said this has come all the way to where we want it to be guys um, we're going to let it go maybe just about another 10 or maybe 15 minutes only to get the radishes all the way tender so they are you know not you know just like a hard potato that's uncooked so you do want them very very tender now this didn't take very long now i would I say that you would need to have some prep time for the stews or the um, soup dishes because it's just one of those things you have to prep for so you will be in your kitchen especially when you're cutting washing um, your veggies and prepping your meat and all of that good stuff um, but this soup is absolutely amazing it's really good guys um, we've got everything in and we are getting ready to serve this guy up like I said this would be the finished product the last step of this um, make sure you give this video a thumbs up like comment and subscribe um, comment down below um, some of your um, soups you guys or stews you grew up on or you know just that you just love or you just like to have around or you know that that's hearty and that's really tasteful y'all because this is very very good y'all I gotta tell you so with that being said you can also serve this with um because it is non-sodium you want to go with maybe some brown rice or you can do um the whole grain pasta is a very good choice to go as well if you're going for that route um now we thought about the uh glass rice noodles because they're very very low in the um sodium um, but with this particular dish, I think we're going to go with the brown rice. <laughs> so it's going to pair good over the brown rice. And it's a, it's a very just quick and easy way to go, you know, just straight to your brown rice. And it's healthy, guys. It doesn't have all of the starch that the, um, and sugar that the white rice has. Or even though it's very tasty with a lot of different meals. But like I said, if you're doing the um, non-sodium I do kind of want to stick to that path and then that brown rice is just as good 
uh, with this dish because you've paired all of your herbs and your veggies and your uh, no sodium seasonings to bring that flavor out in this soup and that's exactly what you want guys so it's really good and a lot of people don't uh, well they look at non sodium oh it's no salt and it's not going to be that good but trust me there are many many variations that you can use in order to substitute for that salt that's all it is guys it's not you know like rocket science <laughs> it's not a hard task a lot of people think it's the end of the world uh, when they have to transform or if they're transforming or trying to you know live healthier so we just wanted to share this recipe with you guys so glad you guys tuned in um, make sure you check out those other how to's um, not all of them are non sodium just some great tips on you know uh, just on how to cook those stews and uh, other dishes guys um, so with that being said thank you thank you again for even um you know taking the time to look at this one guys and we will see you guys soon with another video thank you guys so much again see you guys soon it's savory salt in the fam see you guys later